Now to the high school ranks. Five area teams playing for state championships today in Richmond. Three on the boys' side, two on the girls' side. Nathan Epstein has been camping out in the capital city, and he joins us live from the Siegel Center to tell us how our local teams fared so far. Nathan. Thank you very much, Brian. Yeah, been a busy afternoon here at the Siegel Center. We start off in 4A, where Kings Fork met the defending champion, IC Norcom, looking for their first title since 2009. First quarter, Keith Stagg, 4-3. Big day for the junior and the Bulldogs lead 10-9 after one. Second quarter, Greyhounds on the run. Fast break points, Travis Ingram the finish. We're all square, 19 all at halftime. Second half. Ingram on the run, skies for the two-hander, and the Greyhounds took a nine-point lead into the fourth quarter. So the jacket is off for Kings Fork head coach Josh Worrell. Kings Fork, though, not done yet. After the scramble, it's Craig Ingram ends up with it. That's Travis's brother layup and the foul. It's a three-point game. Bulldogs, though, could not get any closer off the miss. Travis Fields, he had 16. And then for three, Kevin Davis, a double-double, 16 points, 10 rebounds. Kings Fork, oh, so close. They fall one game short, but it was a Greyhound celebration at the Seagull Center. I see Norcom, one and five to start the season, now back-to-back -back 4A state champions. I'm happy for the guys. You know, we had a lot of adversity this year, took a lot of losses, but it showed their character But about Finishing strong, and that was our model this year, finishing strong. It felt even better the second time we did it because this whole year we practiced hard, played hard. We had some ups, we had some downs, but at the end, we got what we wanted. We like the big three. We just like the Heat. They started off bad when they had LeBron, Wade, and Bosh, and we started off bad. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we got a championship, so that's what's good. And in the first ever All Hampton Road State Championship, it was Kings Fork on the short end. Uh, second half, we just... Uh, couldn't make shots, and, and we turned the ball over a couple times. It allowed them to extend their lead, and uh, unfortunately, got put in a situation where we were behind, and, and they're a tough team to beat. When they're up six or eight points, they extend the, extend the floor. And we got better as the season went along, so, you know, credit go to the guys about sticking together and, and always finding a way.